So this is a new product, uh, damper and spring release tools for Fox Forks, um, made from stainless steel in-house. Uh, we decided to make these from stainless steel instead of mild steel because they're a super fine thread and don't want any rust on the risking damaging the uh, expensive Fox uh, damper and spring shafts. Uh, made them in parts um, because that way you can actually, well there's a few reasons, but one of the reasons is you can just buy the parts you need. So for example, um, you could just buy one base and you could buy the spring and damper shaft maybe. Uh, there's different combinations depending on which fork you've got. Or you can just buy the whole kit, uh, which is which covers all forks, which is this right here uh, in the box. Um, so, you know, if you, if you bought one base, or you could buy two, you don't have to leave them set up, you, but you could just buy one. And if you decided later on, oh, I'm going to get a step cast fork, then you might need to buy the longer shaft. Um, but if you know you're not going to, you could just stick with the short one. Um, second reason I decided to do these in parts is, is because of waste. I just think that in this day and age, you know, cutting away over 70% of the material, even if it's getting recycled, it's just unacceptable and it's just unnecessary in this case. Uh, there's a bit more machining going on, so I've got to put these flats on and a thread on the opposite end to attach the base. Uh, but overall, I, I think it's it's the way to go. Um, but another reason I decided to do them as well in in in, um, in parts is because storage when you when you're servicing suspension a lot, and with these tools, naturally you're screwing them onto the uh, the bottom of the fork. You tap them up, the oil floods out, the oil goes into the threads, which then attracts grit and dust and what have you. So then you've got to clean the things out every time you're going to use them because, you know, you, you, the, as I say, they're a cl close fitting thread and you don't want to, um, you know, you, you, they've got to screw straight on. So if there's any dirt or debris in there, it'll stop it or maybe even damage it. So it's, it's just being able to put them away. Um, I used to have, a, when, when I was servicing suspension, I used to have a, a clear desk policy. So you only have the stuff you need out for the job you're doing. So I don't want the workspace cluttered if I'm doing a shock with fork tools. And when they're like this, like the Fox ones, there's just there was just nowhere to put them at all. <laughs> you know, they're just, just an awkward thing unless you have them sort of stood up on your desk. Okay, um, so just a bit of a close-up. So when you're putting these together, um, you only need to screw them together hand tight. It, it, I've gone, the uh, the tolerance on the threads is 6G, uh, each one's hand checked with, with gauges and if you screw them together by hand they bite, so that's, you know, that was that's just hand tight there. Um, I've put uh, some, just in case you, you get them stuck on, I've just put some flats on, um, made them a little bit decorative with profing all the way, engraved all the way around. But yeah, so they, they uh, you could just stick a 10mm spanner on there, but you don't need to tighten them up with the tool. Hand tight's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, there we go. So these ship worldwide. Um, as always, there's trade discounts uh, for those of you in the trade. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Mm -hmm.